Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Reading 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 6. The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruits. Now, this is what I want to say about that. When you are dealing with the gospel of Christ, when you're dealing with people who don't know Christ, people who don't know God, the first thing they want to see is somebody who practices what they preach, lives up to what they're telling you about, and they want to see holiness and righteousness. Now, they don't want you to require it of them because they're not ready. But they definitely want to see it of you. So my question to you is, when you get up and you're witnessing to somebody about Jesus, when you're witnessing about how people need to get saved in these last days or they're going to go to hell and, and hell and, and brimstone and all this stuff and how God's judgment is going to fry their behinds and they better get it right with God and all that. Well, okay, but what are you doing? Are you cussing people out at an off moment? Are you spiteful and vengeful when you don't get your way? Are you short-tempered and volatile? Do people have to give you a wide berth? When your feathers get ruffled, how do you act? How do you respond to the issues of life when some fire, or let's say when you have to go through the fire, when you have to go through the flood, when tribulations hit your, your front door, when you have to go through a trial, or you're under attack. How do you behave? Sometimes it is better to keep your witness to yourself until you get your act together. Because you will indefinite you will definitely do more damage talking too soon. That's why the Bible says, be slow to speak. And swift to hear. Some of us have too much of this going on. We, we, we talk too much. We got too much to say. We know it all. And you still need to sit at Jesus' feet. And learn. Okay. That's just a little tidbit. What are you doing with your witness? How are you affecting other people? Are you a, a sweet-smelling savor? Are you a breath of refreshing? Are you, are you like a, a, a glass of cold water on a hot summer day in the desert? What do you like? Or are you like a bitter pill to swallow as you force the gospel down someone's throat? How do you witness you first have to be partaker. You have to know what it means to obey. You have to know what it means to submit. You have to be a peacemaker, not a troublemaker. You have to be tranquil and, and be under self-control. You can't be incontinent, pissing all over yourself and everybody else when they piss you off. You have to be uh, stable, settled, calm, reassured, deliberate, not haphazard and full of drama. No, you can't be a drama mama or a drama papa. You have got to be under the influence of the Holy Spirit because the fruits of the Holy Spirit are love joy, peace, temperance, which means self 
control. You control your mouth, your words, your actions and reactions. Ask God when it's really time for you to start witnessing. God bless you.